I got myself uh, uh, quite badly injured in the gym. I was doing deadlifts with quite heavy weights and in one of the repetitions I heard a crack low in my back and not only a crack but I kind of felt something something got dislocated, something moved just at the middle inside the spine and I felt immediately really sharp and strong pain I threw the weights on the floor and I lied down for <clears throat> I don't know, 5-10 minutes before I could an issue uh, getting up. Then I barely made it home. Yesterday I visited uh, the physiotherapist and oh well there is a good and bad news. Well the good news is that in his opinion the injury is not too bad. Uh, on the other hand uh, uh, most of the cases like this they need at least uh, eight weeks to recover. Well, I have, I have 24 days until the start of the race and that's quite depressing it's not, it's not only that I'm not sure if I'll be able to run at all on the race but I, I, I don't know if I'll be able to train and to keep the fitness that I already gained so hard Ironically enough, just before uh, getting injured, I happened to read the book uh, The Art of Running Faster by uh, Julian Gother, uh, where he gave really good tips on uh, injury prevention and what to do when you're injured. So I would like to share this, uh, some of these tips with you, and they really relate to my case in, in right now. So number one, stay positive. You can cheer yourself up with some treats some new exercising tools, watch, trainers, whatever you want to buy for yourself. So you can't run, but you can focus on what you can do. First, there is always something you can do in order to speed up your recovery. There are always exercises you can still do to keep your overall fitness. Go to physiotherapist, stretch a lot, train the upper body or the lower body, depending on where your injury is. Treat your injuries, never wait passively, hoping they'll go away. You can self-massage, if you will. This stimulates the blood flow and accelerates the process of healing. You can try jogging, but stop immediately when you feel pain. Every next run, the pain should appear later than the previous run. I know how hard it is, because I feel it right now, but don't get depressed. Don't lose the fitness that you put so much effort to gain. If you can't run, go cycling, go swimming, so you can uh, train the heart and the lungs. If your legs are injured, train the core and the upper body. If your upper body is injured, train your legs. Just remember, be careful not to aggravate your injury. When the big race is already very close, there is no point to train for fitness anymore. As the big race approaches, Train for feelings, not for fitness, and for future, most importantly, master the art of avoiding injuries. Of course it is not fun instead of keep training when I'm on the top of my shape, but instead I have to do rehabilitation exercises, but I have to do what is best to do in the moment for me. I just have to keep the blood circulating so the body eventually gonna start healing itself quite quickly. And yes, the doctor said I'm gonna need 8 weeks to recover but I'll do my best to recover twice faster. I'm gonna eat as healthy as possible, I'm gonna sleep as much as possible and I'm gonna exercise as much as my body allows me to do so. Then, on the race day, I'll just go for it and whatever happens, happens. Hello guys, today is 3rd of May, just 20 days before the race. The situation with my back is getting slightly better. I feel less and less pain, although I haven't run for a week now. Today I tried to run in the gym. I ran one kilometer on the treadmill and I didn't feel pain. But I still feel pain most of the time in more or less any position of my body. Along the exercises that I'm doing all day long, 
that I hope they're gonna speed up the recovery of my injury. I also invested in uh, some supplements and I just would like to share with you what I consume now. All these things, uh, most of them I would usually mix in the shaker and I'll make a smoothie with uh, plant-based milk. First thing first, MSM. If you don't know what is it, Google it. I also consume collagen with glucosamine, magnesium and some vitamins. Lots of fish oil. Vitamin C. My favorite Nordic superfoods. Mahti, Sini and Puhti. Lots of uh, avocado, fresh ginger, turmeric and this special secret Russian balm that I apply on my skin. Thank you Nadia for this. To be honest, I am not sure how much this helps. Most of the, these things are recommended for uh, some joint injuries to prevent inflammation, to speed up the recovery. Again, I'm just testing this out. I'm not paid to advertise any of those. After putting so much effort on getting ready for this race, now I'm willing to do anything that I could just to, to get ready for the race. Some of these things might help, some of them might just help with their placebo effect. I really don't know, but uh, I choose to trust them. Especially those, the Nordic superfoods that uh, I believe they make my, my body stronger, uh, therefore able to cope with uh, the injury. That's all for now. I'll keep you updated. Ooh. Why, why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? There's no one laughing. There is no one behind the camera. It's just me here in my flat, actually. <sighs> the morals of the story. Do not do deadlifts with hockey shoes. Do not even go to the gym with hockey shoes. As a matter of fact, you're gonna see a lot of me using hockey shoes in this video, but this does not mean I recommend you hockey shoes. The reason why I'm trying out hockey shoes for this race is because I know at some point I'm gonna start running on my heels. is on the left. Wow. Oh, such a cozy place. Look at this. And all this is just for me. I feel a bit guilty.
This little wooden house is just amazing. It is so quiet and peaceful and cozy. And only now I got to realize I'm just three minutes away from the start of the race. I'm gonna go to check how to get to the start of the race, just in case. Accommodation is actually just uh, two minutes away from the start. But anyway, a piece of advice, you should always come and double check the starting place of the race. So this is the night before the race. It's 8.30 p.m. And the sun is still on. The only thing I don't like is that there is still snow here. Behind me is the neighborhood where I'm staying in Rukka and I'm gonna fly the drone just to show you the area because it is so beautiful. This is my neighbor. Hello Mr. Rabbit. The sauna is ready. I have never had a sauna before a race in my life and I think now it's a good time to experiment. For me, the morning routine is crucial. In the past four years since I run, each of my mornings looks very similar and there is no way I would try something different on the race day. Number one is a glass of warm water right after I get out the bed. The base of my breakfast is always oats. I only change the seeds and the so-called superfoods I add. The milk is always plant-based. About an hour after my breakfast I can have my first and last coffee for the day. The only thing that is different today is the extra smoothie after my breakfast in attempt to get some extra calories for the run. There is no point for carbo load or anything load on the race day. It's too late. Most of the energy for the race your body will get from the food that you ate the days before the race.
I slept well last night, at least. That's very important. Now it's 10.30. One and a half hour before the race. I have to admit I'm a bit nervous. Like before exam. And this is part of the game. The thing is, let me show you something. Last year, I did not take advantage of the drawbacks. I just underestimated the race a lot, but this time... Drawback 1, drawback 2. <laughs> drawback options are there for a reason. And we should take full advantage of this opportunity. I don't want blisters early on in the race. I hope this is gonna help. And somehow a protection layer in between the fingers. They are kind of lubricated. The only my concern is my back. So the pain faded away. But I feel still there is something weird. I better go. I have to finish this race. Time to check in. Hello. Hello. I'd like to check in, please. I am on that. 34. Okay, you can go from here and check here. Okay. Good luck. Thanks. Good luck. And the emergency blanket. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Very difficult. No, okay. The bandages. Yes. And the, the blanket. Uh, sorry. <laughs> we have time. <laughs> I think I forgot it, I need to go back. Okay. Welcome again. Yeah, I'll be back soon. Sorry. <laughs> Shit, forgot my emergency blanket. Emergency blanket. And wallet. Take wallet with you. How can you go somewhere without a wallet? Some extra adrenaline before the race. This woke me up. I don't need coffee anymore. Ooh. 15 more minutes. Yes. Ah, excellent. <laughs> yes. Something else? No. I just closed. Uh, do you have both? This is only one. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> This is mine. 34. Okay. You will also get the drop box and the newspaper to read. Oh, uh, do running. you know? <laughs> yes. Yeah, while Good. you're running. It's very boring. Yeah, this is for the first stop. This is oh, for the turning can? point. Okay, all right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. That's uh, everything, right? Good luck. Uh, Thank uh, you, ladies. Thank you very much. <laughs> I don't need it. Hello. Hey, hello. hello. How are you? Are you, are you running this year? So I, I think I've seen your video about the race. <laughs> yes, so, thank you. So I, 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 know, I know you. <laughs> thank you very much. I'll go slowly. I have walking poles this time. Let's see. Okay, I'll get ready and good luck to you. Luck.
be so often when I'm stressed. Do you remember this girl from Romania M66? <laughs> Kamerat nousevat purupoilla kulmaan. Nyt aletaan fiilistelemään ja Jonathan, high five. <laughs> Good luck, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. I was thinking that we should have given you water, although you said that no, I don't take it. We should have. To I was it. Uh, feeling guilty to ask. Yeah. Good luck. Reina, you think you're gonna finish? Ah, sure. <laughs> Did you come here to quit? <laughs> Have you ever done this many kilometers before? No, no, no. I did the half, half thing last year. Ah, the <laughs> 83. Yeah. Good luck then. Yeah. One kilometer for the first view. It's gorgeous. See the people over there? You can do this. There's not much left, don't worry. Uh -huh, you, ch you changed your opinion. Uh, kind of not. <laughs> this is my initial plan. Okay. <laughs> Me too, I changed it like five times. <laughs> Oh, so many things happen. <laughs> it's most of them my fault. Right. I didn't have food. I didn't okay. take advantage of the drawbacks. I ran out of water. My knee started hurting. Oh, <laughs> have you done this many kilometers before? No, I've not done. I'm like in five. You know, there is so many hours too. Yes. And I'm trying to not to put my heartbeat too high. Mm -hmm. Let me so. take you on my video yeah, <laughs> to I, remember. I, have, I can probably see those somewhere. Yes, oh, this is on YouTube. Yeah. So pe light, the life tracker that people can see that you're moving oh, yes. online. Oh, you have two, right? Yeah, I have it, yeah. Course, yeah. I'm afraid to stop. My mom is going to call me. Hey, you okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to the toilet. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, first A station. That sounds sound great. Yeah, so first A station, one hour and 17 minutes. Hello, how are you? Oh, good, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing fine. So happy to see someone. I think I'm the last, I'm not sure, but haven't oh. seen anyone for a long time. Me neither. And it's... But there is no hurry. Oh yeah, yeah, I think we are doing well. All right. Good luck, good luck Peter. What's your name? Yeah. Nice to meet you. My name is Martin. Oh, you see me? <laughs> You're from here? No, from Slovenia. Twenty four kilometers, four hours exactly. Everything okay? I'm all right. Did you already get blisters? No, uh, yeah, uh, uh, it's just like a pro proactive uh. thing. I always have in, a, uh -huh. in my <laughs> first one. It's good to take so, care on time. Yeah. Before it's too late. Yeah, before it's too late. It's always the same way. So. How are you? Doing? I'm doing well. How are you, Tina? <laughs> so five minutes break and we're good to go. How? I think it was already five minutes when I was feeling bad. <laughs> How many liters of water did you take now for these 32 kilometers ahead? Two liters. Two liters. Yeah. Maybe okay. A little bit over. Uh, yes. I have one liter. I can borrow. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> thanks. Keep it for you. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Can you whistle? <laughs> Don't spit out all the food. What's your name? Tubi. Tubi? Yeah. Then you're from Finland. Yes, I am. <laughs> How are you? Well, surprisingly good. Yeah. <laughs> I love these bridges. Yeah, me too. Wow. This is fantastic. Are you a member of some CrossFit team? Yes, I am. I just read this on your running book. Yeah. Where are you from in Finland? Uh, Lappen Ranta. Uh -huh. It's uh, southeast. So about 700 kilometers down from here. Uh -huh. And you have CrossFit team there? Yeah. What is the name of the CrossFit? Uh, it's just CrossFit Lappen Ranta. Uh -huh. It's the name of the town uh -huh. I'm living in. It makes sense. <laughs> five and a half, oh, five and a half hours in the race. Thirty-three kilometers, and I'm gonna have my first sandwich. My back hurts, and I need to put some kinesio tape. Not good. It's kind of. It feels like a nerve. Hello. <laughs> it's a long way. Oh Matt. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped, I put this kinesio tape, I stretched a bit and now the pain is gone. 
it might come later i don't know but anyway it was getting too strong and now it's completely gone no note and this is this is a good lesson if there is a problem coming stop immediately and try something to solve it And what's your name? Yuka. Yuka. Yeah. Another person who has seen my videos. <laughs> I really started feeling like, like a celebrity. Have you ever done this long distance? No, the longest is in, in Switzerland. I get over the 101 kilometers. Uh -huh. It's harder. Yeah, the thing is we stay very long time on our feet. It doesn't matter the elevation. It's not very much here, but... It's so much easier for the fast guys. Yes. <laughs> 20 hours in their home. Well... We'll do our best and then whatever happens, happens. Yeah. How are you? Okay? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? What? What's your name? Lisa. Lisa. Have you ever done before? No. This many kilometers? No. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna make it, you know? <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. back on kilometer 36 you look so fresh do i yeah how are you doing uh my my back started hurting so i stopped to put some kinesio tapes yeah. now it's doing fine i notice it hurts when i run uh -huh. so, so i decided to walk yeah. as long as i'm good with the cut off time i'm fine full yeah it doesn't feel good like do you eat normally? Um, well, it's a little bit bad now. Well, be careful with the stomach things. Yeah. 9 hour 43 minutes in the race, which means 9.43 p.m. 56 kilometers, Olanka checkpoint. It smells like food. This is Riku, he also has seen my video and now he's gonna be in the next one. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? Everything okay? Everything okay. We take easy start and with my body twice, twice on the more. Hi. <laughs> and we are packing up and... No so problems? No problems. Good. Yes. Everything is good. I'll in see. schedule. <laughs> good. Good job. I'll see you soon. See you soon. Feeling better with the new socks? Yeah. Awesome. How, how much time do you have left? It's go. time to go. Yeah. Tina doesn't let me stay longer than 10 minutes here. <laughs> you really keep the you can keep the discipline in, in the team. I do triathlon, I do transition. Okay. 15 minutes break and we go. We have 28 kilometers to the turning point. 
in eight hours. Yeah. Woohoo! It is exactly midnight and see how bright it is. Yeah. It's amazing. And it's quarter past midnight actually. And we have 17 kilometers to the turning point. Which means, strangely enough, I'm moving one hour faster than last year. We're gonna play it safe because I can feel my back. How is your stomach doing? Ups and downs. Ups and downs, like my back. So we're gonna play it safe. It is 3.40 and now we are arriving at the turning point. We gonna have about hopefully 20 minutes break. We are hoping to head back at 4. If we manage, this means we're gonna have 20 hours to go back and it took us 16 hours to come here. How do you feel? Good, good. <laughs> All right, we are cut, we are doing well. I have already huge blisters, but I don't have the time to complain now. Tina, we are heading back. Yeah, oh. finally. We are heading back. 4.20. 4.20, so we have 19 hours and 40 minutes. Yeah. I think we are good. Oh. Oh, Rendia. Oh, so beautiful. Runs like us. Yes. He looks like he's done. The race. <laughs> Less than two kilometers, it's 11 p.m. Here it is, congratulations, high five. High five. <laughs> Last three meters. <laughs> we made it. Thank you, Tina. I owe you a race. I really didn't believe. You owe me nothing. You are such a nice company. I didn't believe I'm gonna make. As Tina said, this moment is you get hooked by the feeling.
just back from the race. Woo! What a battle! That was great. I don't want to do it ever again. Thank <laughs> you.